welcome back so this video is about the course alert that i have just created on udemy if you don't know my name is gulam abbas and i am teaching on udemy for last about two and a half years i have over 50,000 plus students from 177 plus countries i have made several successful courses you can see that in one step node.js restful api javascript object oriented programming and java and now i have just released a new course that is all about next js so in this course we basically build a full stack web application with Next.js only. We will follow all the best practices, we will implement the Redux for the state management, we use Next Auth package which is quite popular package for authentication with the Next.js, we will integrate the Stripe for accepting the payment, we will deploy this application on the Versal. And after some moment you will see a complete demo of this project that we are going to build in this course. The link of this course is in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Read the course content. You can read that here. Watch the demo video. And if you are ready to learn Next.js, then I will see you in the course. Now watch the complete demo of this project that we are going to build in this course. Okay, so welcome back. In this video, we will see the complete demo of the project that we are going to build in this course. So we will build a complete full stack application in Next.js only. And the project name is Bookit. So it is basically a hotel booking website where you can book a hotel. Okay. So this is the home page. You can see that I have here all rooms and these are the four rooms and pagination is also here. If I click on page two, now I am on the page two of the website. You can see that we have here page two. Okay. Now if I want to search some room on based on specific location, I simply go to back to search. And now you can provide here the location, the number of guests, you are and then the room type like this so for example if i type here buffalo which is the city name if i click on search now i have only one room that has buffalo in it in the location okay now if i want to search the room that has guest in the buffalo that has guest capacity of four search now i don't have any room like that but if i go back and i type here six guest capacity and search now this room has six guest capacity in the same way we have the room type if I have buffalo six room I type here single search I have this room again so this is the search functionality and if I view the details of particular room if I click on it you will see the room title then the room address which is this one you can see that this is the buffalo then the reviews in this case we have zero reviews and then the a slider that basically show all the images of that room like this okay then we have a description of that room and here on the side we have the price per night here we have features like six guest capacity three beds breakfast is included internet is also included air condition is also included pets are not allowed and room cleaning is also included so these are the room features okay and then we have here a calendar which basically help us to pick check-in and check-out dates like in this case now you can see that these two dates are disabled 12 and 13 because someone has already booked these dates from 12 to 13 so we cannot book these two dates if i click 11 to 14 you will see a message room not available try different dates because 12 and 13 are already disabled if i select other dates like 17 to 19 then room is available book now i have here a booking button okay so we will implement the functionality that when someone book the dates we have to disable those dates for that particular room okay and if i log out I am already logged in if I log out from here and you can see that now if I select dates from 17 to 19 you will see an alert that login to book this room okay so only logged in user can book a room so let's create a new account on this website so I click on login I don't have so let's create a new user so new user I type here full name I type here my name then email I type here Ulam one at gmail.com password i type here one two three four five six and then choose the avatar of the user i choose this one open and this is the preview of the avatar so now if i click on the register you can see a loader and now my account is created successfully i'm on my login screen if i type here ulam one at gmail.com and now if i type here wrong password like one two three four five six seven and login you will see alert invalid email or password okay 
So now I type here my correct password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Log in, and I am logged in successfully. Here is my details: so profile picture and the name. I can see my profile, like profile this. So these are my details. I can update my details also here. Okay. For example, if I move this name from here like this and click on update, I will see that my details are updated successfully. And now I have here my bookings. If I click on my bookings, it will display all the bookings that I have booked. Right now I don't have any, so let's book a room. So I go to this room, and you can see that these dates are also booked from 11, 12, and 13. And I select from 17 to 20 so I have to pay 672 dollars if I click on pay it will take me to the stripe checkout page okay so here the name of the room that I am booking the price that I have to pay then the image then I have to enter here my card details so I enter here a test card number that is 424242 then any month and year then CVC any then put the name on card I can choose my name then click on this button to pay amount. So if I click on pay, the payment is successful. And now you can see that I have my first booking here. So this is the booking ID. This is the check-in date, which is from which is 17, and checkout date, which is 20 in this case. The amount that I have paid is $672. I can click on this view to view the details of that particular booking. So booking ID, then user information, then booking details, days of stay are four, payment status paid and this is the room okay so I can also view the details of a booking go back and now you can also download invoice for that particular booking so simply click on this download button and now you can see that the invoice is downloaded successfully which is a PDF file so if I open this file you will see that I have my uh, logo here then booking invoice then my details company details then name of the user then the email of the user then check in date check out date and then we have here invoice number, uh, invoice date, then we have here the product name, then the days of stay for price which is this, uh, per night, per night I have to pay $168, so total is $672 that I have paid, okay. So this is the uh, invoice of that particular booking, you can download that if you want, okay. Now if I go back and let's see, if I go to this room again. Now you can see that the dates are disabled from 17 to 20. So now these dates are not available for booking. In fact, if I select from 16 to 21, you will get a message that rooms are not available. And also you will see a button here that is called Submit Review. So this button will be available only for those users that have actually booked that room. So I have now booked this room. So now I have this Submit Review button. If I go back and open any other room like this one, you will don't see here any review button because I have not booked this room. So I cannot give a review on this room. So let's give a review. If I go back, open this page and submit my review, I give here like five stars. I type here very cool room like this and click on submit to submit my review. So review posted successfully. So this means that review is also working properly and now this is for a normal user i also have a complete admin panel for the admins if i log out and log in with the admin account login and that is admin at gmail.com password is one two three four five six login this user is admin basically you can see that i have a four more options rooms bookings users and reviews if i go to the rooms here and you can see the path slash admin slash rooms. So I have total eight rooms that I have published on the website. So you can see the, all the room IDs, room names, price per night, the categories. I can delete a specific room or I can edit a specific room from here. For example, let's delete this one. So delete and that room is gone. Now you have seven rooms. Okay, I can also create a new room here. If I click on it, now I can enter the details and create a new room like this. And then also I have here the bookings. So you can see that I have here four bookings. So admin can access all the bookings right here. Admin can view the booking details, download the invoice, or can delete that booking. Right? For example, if I delete this one, so delete, and booking is gone. In the same way, I have the users. 
So I have two users. One is this one, admin at gmail.com, which is a you can see the role is admin, and now this is the user that we have created uh, before. That is role is user and name is Gulam only. So let's change it to admin. If I add it, change its role to admin, update. Now you can see that its role is now admin. I can also view uh, reviews of specific room. If I click on reviews, for example, I select this room. Copy the ID of the room and put that here. Now admin can see the review of that particular room. In this case, I have only one review. So this is only for admins. So if I log out, log out, and log in again with my previous email that is gulam1 at gmail.com and password is 1234567. Log in. Now if I click on it, you can see that I have also access to all these options because now I am also admin. Okay. And also, for example, if I forgot my password of this account, if I log out from here, log out. Now, for example, I forgot my password. So I simply go to login, forgot password. I enter here my email. So I type wrong email, send email. So user not found with this email. So I type here correct email, like this, send email. So email sent to gulaman at gmail.com. And I have used MailTrap, which is service for testing the emails for any project, for any application. You can see that in my inbox, I have one email a few seconds ago, which is book it password recovery. If I open it, it has given me a password reset URL. So I can simply copy it from here, copy the URL. If I put that right here, press enter, you will see that I have a new password form. So if I enter here my password, like I type here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, set password. Password is updated successfully. And now if I type here my previous password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry, that was email. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, login. So invalid email or password. So you have to enter here 7 also. And now I'm logged in successfully. Okay. So this is also implemented. Now this application is actually also deployed on bookit.versal.app. So this website is live and running. If you go to the view page source of this website, you will see that the data is actually server side rendered. You can also test the speed of this website if I copy the link from here, which is the deployed URL copied from here. And this is a tool to test a website performance which is developed by Google. So I put my link here and click on analyze and also I have one more website that is called GT metrics which is a quite popular uh, service to test the performance of application or website. So I put here my link and click on analyze, uh, test your site and you can see that for the mobile Google has given me 74 numbers which is quite good for mobile and it is also mobile responsive. If you go to desktop, now you have here 98 points, which is quite good. This means that this website is absolutely fast and optimized. You can read more about here. You can also test if you want. This is the URL. And if I go to GT Matrix, you will see that I get here 99% performance and 97% structure. So this means that Bookit is fast and responsive. So that's the complete demo of this project. I hope that you like that. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. I will see you in the next video.